think we're live. Take we're two. <laughs> Sorry about that. Internet trolls, internet troll nerd, inter something. Programmers. I'm going to blame programmers, like I always do for everything, because it's always their fault at the end of the day. Martin, hello again. Hello again. How are we? <laughs> All right. So uh, Dan was with us. It looks like Dan is uh, on route home now. So sorry, Dan. He had he had two good tips for us, though. He, um, he had uh, Leverkusen are playing Mainz, and over 3.5. Goals was that. And yeah, what was the other one, Martin? Yeah, Huddersfield to beat Birmingham at home, odds of 1.71. Yeah, uh, I just thought that it, it, he was saying that, you know, he's a Birmingham fan and he knows that they're going to play a lot of youngsters. Uh, Huddersfield will probably rotate as well, but he doesn't expect Birmingham to get anything out of the game at all. So yeah, It's hard to imagine, like, isn't it? Because yeah. their first team is bad enough. I can't imagine <laughs> that their, their second string is any much better. I mean, they, they need to concentrate on the league, let's be honest. Otherwise, yeah. they're going down. So, yeah, I can understand as well why Dan don't like the FA Cup because they don't, like Birmingham don't really put in much effort. Mm. And for me, uh, give you my tip for Saturday. Obviously, I said it once before, but what, I don't know what happened to the live video. But um, West Ham to beat Wigan, it's my team. And uh, you might think, oh, he's just saying that because he supports West Ham. But at 3.02, um, it, it's unbelievable value. Don't forget Wigan. Yes, they're top of the league, but there's a two division gap. Um, and as I mentioned before, which didn't come out, um, only six times in the last 30 games have League One opposition beaten uh, Premier League opposition uh, when they've been hosting them. So even based on that stat as well, we've got great, great chance. We'll rotate. Uh, Wigan will probably be full strength. Um, they just signed James Vaughan actually from Sunderland, but I think he's cup tied, thankfully for us, because is he, half decent player, but we, we should have too much for them. And three point zero two for me is stonking value. When I think it should probably be around two point five ish. Yeah, it's a funny price, isn't it? It's, it's I can't. No one can work this price out, and why the bookies have gone like this? Mm. It's very strange. I know, I know, like our big players, Lanzini and Arnautovic are injured, and uh, but were they going to feature anyway? I'm not so sure. Um, oh, that's weird, huh? It's definitely worth jumping on. Even if, like, like me, I, you know, even if in my head sometimes um, I don't think it, you know they're going to win, but if they scream value, I've got to go for it. And this is a bit of both. I think we're going to win, and I, and we're massive value. So yeah, everyone jump on it. Blame me if it doesn't come in. And <laughs> <laughs> um, I know we, we obviously we mentioned it before. Sheffield Wednesday and Reading is tonight as well. Uh, you were saying you 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 you. You were saying if you had to pick something, you'd, you'd be looking at the draw here. Yeah, I would. Um, I'm not even going to watch it, if, if I'm being honest. I'll, I'll, I'll be down the pub, I think, later on. Um, yeah, both teams are in pretty poor form. Neither team wants this distraction of the FA Cup because they want to stay in the league. Um, so, yeah, I've, they'll probably rotate heavily. Um, and if, But then again, on the flip side, neither team will want to replay either. Um, uh, but personally I can't separate them so I'm, I would go down the middle if I was having a bit it would be one of those games if it's nil nil at 75 minutes managers to just throw on all of their subs and you know go we'll see something then you know so it's, it's one of those ones for trading I suppose if, if it gets that yeah. late to 70 75 minutes is nil nil then you know you'd, you'd, be, you'd be laying the, the laying the draw or laying the, the nil nil score you know because by yeah, exactly. 70 75 minutes it'd be uh, it'd be under two wouldn't it usually be under two by 75 Anyway, you know, um, yeah, it'd be on by then, I think. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. It should be so. Yeah, I used, to, I used to love stuff like that. I'd be, you know, you'd be praying for nil nil in games <laughs> and then waiting. Um, is there anything else tonight? Uh, there's uh, uh Syria B is back, I think it was back last again, so I'm, I'm not going to ask you about uh, uh, Pescara versus Perugia, which uh, does look <laughs> like be a fairly decent game. I love Syria B, and I, I miss uh, Bet365 when it was uh, here in Poland for uh. The government kicked everyone out, and they used to uh, they used to show all the matches. I used to, I used to, I used to watch a little bit of Serie B. Um, Saturday then, say so. We've spoken about Wigan and West Ham, um, and oh, any other ties? Sorry, Watford, West Ham. Uh, any other ties uh, at all that, that that are 
you know, interesting. <laughs> um, I mean, I think he got a couple of interesting ties. Uh, Notts County at home to Swansea. I think that's a potential giant killing. Um, you know, it's free. You know, League Two against Premier League. Even though, um, even though I was saying before, West Ham, Wigan, only two divisions apart. These are three divisions apart. But um, Notts County playing a good pitch. Swansea, will they be up for it? I don't know. Quite an intimidating atmosphere. I think it'll be um, rammed uh, at the county ground. So. I think there's a little bit of value on those County there to at least get a replay out of it potentially. That'd be even worse, man, for Liverpool. Like Liverpool beat Man City, lose to Swansea, and then Swansea go and lose to Notts County. So technically, actually, that means Notts County are better than Liverpool. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like that. Uh, um, oh, I need to dig out that website. The, the uh, what's it called? I think there's a website, the unofficial world champions of world football or something like that. Uh, uh, do you know this one? I'm talking about. Well, I don't actually. I have no idea what you're um, talking about. <laughs> I've, got, I've got to find it for you, man. It's really, it's really good. They they track uh, every match that's ever happened since uh, I think since the Jules Romay was the World oh, Cup wow. trophy. Yeah. I think that's how far they go back. And so, like every every match since then, so it, it shows who is actually the world champion at the moment. Like there was a period, there was a period where Scotland were world champions there for a while. Like, <laughs> it's brilliant. It's class. Um, what else is on? Uh, we spoke uh, um, we spoke on the podcast about Valencia and Real. You had picked uh, Valencia, didn't you? Yeah, Valencia on the handicap, plus one on the handicap. I can't remember what the odds were now, but uh, it's definitely value considering exact, you know, what Real Madrid are going through at the minute. Um, they just can't they can't buy a win. Los Leganes in the cup. I, uh, I don't know how Zidane's still in a job. Um, he's got to have some dirt on, on, on Perez, surely. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what it is? You know what it is, right? Um, I was listening to... Um, do you know Graham Hunter, the Scottish uh, the Scottish writer who does the Spanish uh, uh, league? You know him? No. Oh, no. Okay, oh, so, I might know by face, but not by name. Uh, so he, um, he does a lot of uh, writing and interviews for uh, Sky yeah. and, and people like that. And he's written uh, English books about uh, the Spanish YouTube. national team and all this kind of stuff. He's got he's got a pretty good uh, podcast where he interviews uh, uh, footballers. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, you know, so he does these long form interviews. He does. Yeah, Graham Sunes was a really good one. Uh, he had Kevin Kilban is on uh, soon, and and the re- so he was talking to Kevin Kilban, who's on the uh, off the ball. That's the that's the radio Irish radio uh, sports radio I listen to, and um, he was saying that uh, the reason. Him, the reason, the reason he's up and fired is basically because him and Perez, they're like that. Really? You know, they're, best, they're best mates. And he was he was going into like all this uh, transfer stuff about like when they signed Bale and it looked like it was kind of off. It was yeah. it, it was Zidane who was in Perez's ear saying, no, look, we've got to go ahead with this. We've got to get this guy. We've got to get this guy. Uh, and he also gave an example of, of Isco. Perez had, had made this statement. There, were, there was rumors about Isco going to... Real Madrid and, and Perez mm. is like, nah, Isco wouldn't even get into our team. And Zidane rang him that evening was like, nah, man, you're signing him. He's brilliant. <laughs> Next day, they sign Isco. <laughs> you know? wow. So this is, they're just best buddies. And unless it really, really goes badly, it, I, I reckon if they don't get Champions League, he's gone. But... I think they'll get Champions League next they season. But... Will, like, and the thing is as well, it's like, you know, the Champions League is coming up and like, you know, they they could beat Paris, PSG, and then then the season's back on track again. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, I don't, I don't think they will in this form. Not, not no, for a certainly not. But um, you never know. No. Do you think Ronaldo's coming to the end now? Uh, yeah, where, where, where's he going to go? Is he going to go to PSG or back to England? Like, if he comes back to England, I can't see him being, I can't see him lasting back in England because he just get. He just said the ankles kicked out. Yeah, okay. straight, <laughs> he? he will be like. I suppose it's the same in France. I mean, that you look at. Remember the, uh, what match was it? Neymar was sent off. Uh, uh, Marseille, wasn't it? Uh, I think well, it was Marseille, man. I'm not sure. It was Marseille, and they kicked lumps out of Neymar. So they did. Eventually, he lost his temper. So, <laughs> you know, the French are. They're dirty, you know, the French league. So I, I don't know. I really don't know where he's going to go. Oh, maybe go really... I don't know. Go back to sport in Lisbon and just end his career where he started, yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I wonder would he get into management. I hope he doesn't. <laughs> no, because no, no, I'll tell you why. Because he's one of those players that, like, um, uh, you know, sometimes if like if like a great player goes into management and it all mm. goes to hell, it kind of ruins their reputation, you know. 
Like, like, like Sunes, 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 great player, yeah. awful manager. <laughs> great oh. example. Yeah. I can't see him being a doing anything really related to football afterwards because he's got his like underwear line and all that rubbish. <laughs> so he's obviously <laughs> planned for life after yeah. football already. The boys, man. Yeah, it was, that's true. Um, is there anything else happening on Saturday? On a Saturday, uh, I think. Um, I think. Well, I think Leicester will win it, but I think Peter and Leicester the early kickoff. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's going to be an entertaining game, and I recommend everyone watch that because Peter will love to score and love to concede. So I think there'll be bag, bags of goals in that one. Oh, we had score predictions for this in work. We did. They'll, they'll, they'll be coming out on Twitter and Facebook probably in the next hour or so. Okay, so we're not going to tell you. You got to look. You got to go to our Twitter profiles. Uh, what, else, what else was happening on Saturday? Uh, well, to be honest, we spoke about a lot of it on the podcast. The Ipswich and Wolves. We spoke about uh, yeah, most of the big matches. So uh, let's have a look then at Sunday. Uh, Sunday had. I'll tell you what. I'll give you my my, my basketball tip. So um, yeah. uh, usually I uh, we're supposed to have two tips, but um, the, the prices haven't been done for Sunday. For any, anything in the NBA, there's there's plenty of games, right? But there's there's no prices, and there's no ice hockey on Saturday night, Sunday in America. Uh, the next ice hockey, the full lineup is next Tuesday, I think. Although the Boston Bruins are playing the Anaheim Ducks, so that's that that looks like it's going to be a really brilliant one for anyone staying up. But anyway, so for tonight, what was like tonight slash tomorrow night, tomorrow morning at one o'clock, uh, one o'clock in the morning my time. Anyway, the the Bulls, Chicago Bulls are taking on the Lakers uh, in Chicago. The Bulls look there. Uh, 1.55 to win, so uh, it's too short, you know, from yeah, from 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 me on, on the podcast and all that. I don't like stuff like this. Uh, I would, I, 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 I would tend to put them into accumulators. I don't. How do you feel about stuff like that, Martin? Is it, is it something you would put into an accumulator as well? Something that, that I think that something like 1.55. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't put. I wouldn't go on it on a single or anything like that. But I consider it an accumulator just to bump yeah. the odds up. You know, if I've got a treble or a fourfold. And then I'm pretty confident the Bulls are going to win. I'll, I'll, I'll slip them into the Aka, yeah. How, how low would you go on an Aka, odds wise? Me personally, 1.5. That's it, that's your cut off point. There. Yeah, that is, that is my personal cut off. I wouldn't go any lower than that. Yeah, no. Good advice there, people. Uh, <laughs> look, the, the, Lakers are, the Lakers are 2.4 to win, but it's not going to happen. The Lakers have only, they've only won one of the last five away, and that was in overtime. They've only won three of the last 10. Uh, on the road as well. Uh, the Bulls, the Bulls, Bulls are fairly good at home. Their recent record isn't good though. They've only won one out. Sorry, they've only won three out of the last five. But one of those was against the Golden State Warriors, who are just amazing and are probably going to walk it um, this season. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully someone will will give them a, a good test in the playoffs. But uh, yeah, they're six out of ten uh, overall at home. And uh, so I've gone with the handicap here because there's no point. In, Betting on the 1.55, so handicaps minus four, so you can get Chicago Bulls minus four, 1.91, and looking at their handicap record as well, they've beaten the handicap uh, spread in 14 out of 23 at home. So I think they'll they'll do it here again. The Lakers sure, they're on holidays already. Like they're, they're, <laughs> they're just thinking about next season, and, and they're already you know they're talking about who they want in the draft and all that kind of stuff. So their season is pretty much over. You know, the last the last five, ten games they'd be playing for pride and they might just mm. step back up again. But I don't know. I don't look I've been wrong before, <laughs> as you know. But uh, the, uh, the Bulls minus four handicap, they've they've covered that low handicap loads already. So have a look at the stats yourself. I know I've uh, I recommend uh, the uh, oh God I've I've forgotten the name first. Uh in uh, Vegas Vegas Insiders. Vegas Insiders <laughs> NBA against the spread. It's quite a long thing to Google search. But you'll be you'll be brought to it straight away. It's a really good website. That was in need of an overhaul. It's ugly as hell, but it's uh, it's very good for stats nerds like me. Um, uh, Sunday then, Martin. Uh, just quickly on the FA Cup. Uh, Cardiff are playing. Um, Cardiff are not playing Newcastle. Chelsea playing Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cardiff Chelsea. are playing Man City. Uh, two, well, a home win and away win. Chelsea, Man City, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, as I say, with anyone in, uh, looking to bet on a cup game, probably best to wait for the lineups if you're if you're unsure of what the teams are going to be, because um, you never know. Uh, but even with Man City playing kids, they'll probably still beat Cardiff. And uh, but then again, if Chelsea play kids, Newcastle might have a little bit of a glimmer of hope there. So 
Um, wait for the lineups, but on paper, it'll be a comfortable Chelsea Man City win for me. Oh, can um, you hear that? Can you hear that? Is that a kid? The mother in law has arrived. Oh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's getting real now. Um, uh, I know right. we did chat about it already. Uh, you're going yeah, to I'll, give you your... my, I'll give you my oh, Sunday yeah, tip. Sorry, Sunday tip. Uh, yeah. yeah, I've written a couple of things down. Leganes versus Espanyol in La Liga on Sunday afternoon. Um, what time is the game, actually? Let's just have a quick look. I think it's, I think it's early. Um, yeah, it's 11 o'clock UK time. Crazy. Oh. Uh, in the morning. I've gone for under one and a half goals uh, at 2.17. And the reason I've gone for that is both teams are pretty poor at the moment, um, both in the, at the wrong end of the table. Um, Lagana's last three games have been 1-0, 1-0, 1-0. Uh, Espanyol haven't scored in the last... Uh, scored one goal, actually, in the last three games. And if you look at the head-to-heads... Uh, back in August, Laganes, uh, Espanyol was 1-0. Uh, and exactly the same fixture last season um, at Laganes was 1-0 as well. So um, you can see why I've gone for it. They just they just don't score goals at the moment. And both sides are ad- averaging under a goal a game. So I think one under 1.5 goals at over-evens is, is cracking value for me. So that is my tip. Yeah. Very good. It's almost binary, isn't it? 1-0, 1-0, 1-0. <laughs> yeah. It'll probably be 4 all now. <laughs> that would be my luck this week like, last few days I've been let put, down like by one or two and... put uh, put 50p on 4 all then you know just to cover <laughs> you <laughs> um, you're going to watch AC Milan Lazio as well aren't you I am yeah it's just one of those fixtures that I've always enjoyed watching uh, back in the 90s I used to love it we had a, a cracking programme on Channel 4 in the UK uh, Italia Football um and yeah, I just loved it ever, ever since. And it's going to be an interesting game. I mean, Lazio are probably in the better form of the two sides. Um, and I think there'll be goals. And yeah, just looking forward to watching some entertaining Serie A action for once. Yeah, lots of big, dirty, late tackles and yellow cards. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, no, a crazy stat. I did, I, I'll say it again. A crazy stat that I mentioned on the podcast. And I only, only had records up to the last 25 years. Lazio have not won a Serie A game against Milan away from home in at least 25 years. It's crazy. That's insane. <laughs> and they're, they're good odds, I think, Milan. I think they're like two point. Let me quickly check. 2.2, 2.2. 2. Yeah, something like that. Six to four. Um, yeah, fractional odds there. Um, Come on, internet. Don't let me down. 2.45. And they're dropping. It was two. Oh, wow. They opened at what? 2.8. Wow. They've dropped a lot, yeah. So uh, oh, get on there quickly before it drops more. Um, <laughs> uh, right, look, I suppose that's about it then, isn't it? There's nothing really else. Um, uh, we'll yeah, be back on Monday as long as my uh, internet people come and um, install the internet in my house. This yes. is the last time you'll be seeing this horrible apartment with well, Maybe um, if, you, if, you, if you're not here on Monday, me and Dan will do it and Dan will have a. And of le- course. A leprechaun mascot next to me or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be crying in the corner going, they don't love me, they don't love me, they don't need me anymore. Right, so look, um, where are you on the internet, Martin? Yeah, guys, Twitter, Pro Tips to ENG, come and say hi, or on Facebook, Pro Tips to Martin. Yeah, and uh, I'm over on Twitter, Pro Tips to Pod, because I do podcasts, and I have a Pro Tips to Paddy page on Facebook, and obviously you're watching this on Pro Tips to uh, Facebook page, so yeah, Pro Tips the UK. Tell all your sports mad friends about us. Uh, check out our website as well. Um, we're going to be doing some stuff in the future about just how good our stats are because that's oh, yes. something we need to do. We need to tell people more about if you want to track and want to track if you want to uh, track um, strategies, betting strategies, things like that. You can use our website totally for free. Um, you can go over there and log your bets. You don't have to spend a penny with the bookies or with yeah. us. And you can and you can test out your strategies if you're better at overs, unders, Asian handicaps, both teams to score, all across all the leagues, all the kind of, and that's just football, mm-hmm. baseball, basketball, everything else. Um, it's a brilliant website, lads. Get over there, check out the, the premium uh, features as well. Uh, you can sign up and and get all the pro tips for a month, and then it's only a ten a month after that. So what's that? Two points, you know. 
Well, not in Poland, it's 10 in fairness. But anyway. Right. <laughs> Stop around with Martin. Thanks very much, man. I'll see you, see you, you Good luck with the movie. Bye. Bye, everybody. Adios.